Welcome to Countout. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to calculate the effective interest rate and how to also calculate the nominal interest rate using the financial calculator. In this lesson, we are using the Sharp EL738 to do that. So let's look at these two examples here. In fact, you will note that in these two examples here, we've done them before. So if you'd like to check out the theory and a better understanding of what the effective interest rate is and what the nominal interest rate is, you can click on the link on the top right of the screen or you'll find the link in the description below. We'll go into great detail and we also show you a formula that you can use to calculate the effective interest rate. But in this lesson, we're just going to use the financial calculator. So let's take a look at the first one. We have two examples. The first one says a bank charges 12% per annum compounded monthly. What is the effective interest rate? So we are here given a bank charge. It charges 12% per annum compounded monthly. So we know that 12% that is being, we are being told about here is the nominal interest rate. Now what we are asked to do is to calculate the effective interest rate. Now let's go to our financial calculator. What you will note here. On top of PV, you can see it's written EFF, that is the effective interest rate. And on top of the PMT, as you can see here, it's written APR, that is the annual percentage rate, otherwise known as the nominal interest rate. And that is, those are the buttons we're going to use. So let's quickly calculate this one. We are told it's 12% per annum compounded monthly. So how many compounding is there per year? It's 12 months because compounded monthly, it's 12% per annum, but it's compounded monthly. So each month, so we have 12 months in a year. So that's 12 compoundings in a year. So since we know that it's 12 compoundings in a year, we're going to type the compounding, the number of compounding in a period or in a year. We type the 12. And then once we've done that, we click here where it's written in brackets X comma Y we click on that button and then we put on the interest rate that we are given it's 12 percent so we're going to put in 12 percent here and you don't have to put the percentage sign it already knows that it's the percentage sign that is how the financial calculator uses it so you just put there the digits and then once you've done that you press second function what are we trying to calculate the effective interest rate so we're going to press this one EFF effective interest rate and there it has given us the effective interest rate so the effective interest rate is 12.68 percent and if you go back to that lesson I mentioned you'll remember that uh, the effective interest rate is always higher than the nominal interest rate so now we've got the effective interest rate of 12.68 percent and then we move on to the second example now i hope you remembered how to do that so if you have the same financial calculator that i have here try and do the same the second example using your calculator and then you can pause here try and do it and see if you get the same answer that i will get so try it right now okay i hope you have tried that lesson uh you have tried this uh, question too where it is a fixed deposit and seven percent per annum compounded quarterly what is the effective interest rate so again, we know that this 7% is the nominal interest rate. So we are going to calculate what the effective interest rate is. And that is what we are asked. So it's compounded quarterly. And we know that there are four quarters in a period or in a year. So those are the, that's the number of compounding. So we're going to start by that one. We type in four. That's the number of compounding. And then we press X, uh, comma Y. And then we put in the percentage, which is the 7%. And once we've done that, we press second function and then second function. After second function, we press where it's written EFF or effective interest rate. And there it has given us 7.19%. So you can see our effective interest rate is higher than the nominal interest rate of 7%. I hope that has made sense and you're able to calculate the effective interest rate on your own. If you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment section below. But here is something to note. You can also calculate the nominal interest rate using the same financial calculator so let's say we are given the effective interest rate of 7.19 so we are given effective interest rate of 7 point sorry you are given an effective interest rate of 7.19 percent and you're asked to calculate the nominal interest rate what do we do so let's say it's compounded quarterly so let's say it's compounded quarterly here so what are we going to do we're going to put four because quarterly it's four compoundings in a period we press x uh, comma y and then we press 7.19 percent so let's say that's the effective interest rate that you're given 
and then we have to calculate the nominal interest rate we press second function and we don't press EFF because EFF is the effective interest rate we are asked to calculate the nominal interest rate we press the APR or the annual percentage rate which is the nominal interest rate and once you've done that you can see our nominal interest rate is seven percent i hope now you know how to work backwards from effective interest rate to nominal interest rate and from nominal interest rate to effective interest rate using the financial calculator if you have gained value from this lesson please consider subscribing to our channel like this video and sharing it if you can otherwise if you have any questions or queries leave them in the comment section below till next time cheers